Hey you, how's it going? Tonight, I am going to be making wall bats. Bat wall art. Bats for my wall. <laughs> I don't know what to call it really. I don't know if I would call it art because not quite art, but it's gonna be pretty, I think. So, I've been wanting to make these for a long time, but I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it. I finally figured it out, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. If you just Google it or go on Pinterest, you'll see a ton of examples of wall bats. And yes, it's awesome for Halloween, but I really wanna have these up all year long, so I wanted to make them a little bit better. I wanted to make them fancier. I don't want them to just be black paper. So, in my house, my colors that I'm decorating with are black, of course, grays, silver, purple, and then a few iridescent and holographic accents here and there. So, originally, what I was gonna do was do some black ones, and then also do some holographic and iridescent bats, and I was gonna use this iridescent film that I have, but it obviously needs a background, and on white, yeah, there you go. It looks kind of ugly. No, I just don't like the way that looks, like pink and yellow mostly. And against the black, I mean, honestly, it looks better on camera than it does in person. It's not really what I was going for either. It looks more green in person, and I don't really want green bats. And then for the holographic bats, I was gonna use this hollow scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby, but it was okay. So I was at Joann's getting supplies for another video and I came across this awesome fabric. I don't remember what it is. It's stretchy. I don't know my fabrics. My sister would know. It's just beautiful. That's more what I was looking for. It's, just, oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna make Salem a bunch of little bandanas and I wanted to make them a hollow one, but I thought it would also be perfect for my bats. The other day, I could not think of the word bandana. I was writing my video notes and uh, I was like, it's not a scarf. It's not quite a handkerchief. Like what, what is the word? I couldn't think of it. I ended up writing down neck triangles. <laughs> and then it was yesterday or the day before I was like bandanas. Oh, my brain is melting. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, then this girl who worked there saw that I had it and she was like, oh, you should check out the home decor vinyls. And I said, well, I don't mind if I do. So I went to go check it out and I found black holographic vinyl. <laughs> and I'm actually going to use it for another project, <laughs> but black hollow bats. Yes. So I'm not doing iridescent. I'm just doing two different kinds of thing, and then black ones. I think I'm gonna use glitter, so it's gonna be black glitter, black hollow, and silver hollow wall bats. Yes, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna make the bats out of black cardstock. I, this is like the heavy duty. And then I'm gonna put the fabric on top. And I'm considering if I should put like a gloss top coat to make it even shinier, or if it's gonna look better without it, I don't know. So we're gonna figure that out. And then, oh darn it. I forgot my, my little bat wings, y'all. I got these in the dollar section of Target. <laughs> and they also have little uh, holographic pieces in there. You can't even see them, whatever. All right, are we ready to get started? I think so. So let's make these bats. Let's see, first I'm going to make patterns for them with some white cardstock and then use the patterns to cut out all my bats from the black cardstock. That way I don't have to draw a million bats. And I'm probably gonna make maybe three or four different shapes of bats because I just think it makes it look more dynamic when you have different bat shapes, you know, flying different ways. So I'm gonna to go to Pinterest and Google and just type in bat template and just kind of look at them, get some ideas, see the shapes that I like, and then I'm just gonna freehand them. Let me see, I think, I guess I want them, I don't wanna do like little teeny weenies. I guess they're gonna be pretty big. It just needs to be a rough outline of a bat and it's gonna look like a bat, so let's see. You don't have to be a badass artist. Shit, you could just do M shapes and it's still gonna give the impression of a band. Oh, okay, I'm getting excited. This is gonna be so cool. my 
the templates is now I'm just gonna cut them out and then I'm gonna cut out approximately a million bats from my black cards. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Hmm. have my patterns, so I am just gonna trace them now. Okay, that took a long time. I listened to two episodes of True Crime Garage and watched a couple videos. Many, many hours later, I have 18 bats that I made. <laughs> I made a lot of bats. I'm gonna save these patterns for the future in case I need to make more bats. Uh, yeah, I better be careful because if I drop them on the floor, that dog is going to tear them to shreds. I'm gonna separate them into piles by shape. Six of the bats are gonna stay black, so two of these, two of these, and two of these are going to be black glitter bats. These are going to be silver holographic, and then the rest are going to be, wait a minute, six, seven. How did I get an extra bat? I have an extra bat. I thought I, hmm. So I'm gonna start with my silver hollow here. Oh, it's so pretty. Apparently you can get as little as one inch of fabric from Joann's if you want to. So I got eight inches, thinking that it was gonna be plenty for a few bats and a couple of bandanas for Salem. But for now, I'm gonna turn it over on its other side. So I'm going to start placing my bats as close together as possible, and remembering that they are going to be mirrored because, you know, this is the back side, they're gonna be flipped over. What's the matter, buddy? Your daddy left you in here, huh? With me. Say hi, buddy. Right here. Say hi, guys. Look at his adorable t-shirt that I got him. We got our first cold front today, so I got to put a t-shirt on him. And I wanna make sure that the ones that are facing different directions, I'm using both orientations, like both directions. <laughs> Got all my bats laid out. I'm just gonna use a pencil and I'm gonna trace them all and then I'm gonna cut them out. Now, I wonder if it would be easier to glue the fabric onto the bat first and then cut around it or cut the fabric and then glue it on. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be finishing this project tomorrow. It is getting late. <laughs> one down. God damn it, that took forever. We have one hollow bat. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm getting so excited. Let us keep going. I have figured out a much easier way is um, to attach the bat to the fabric. Yes, because trying to cut it all floppy like this really sucks. <laughs> I'm using this double-sided tape. It's very thin and it's acid-free. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. In one of their glue sections, the one with like the scrapbook sticky corners and the glue dots and all that, I think it's very, very thin double-sided tape. I'm using that because I think hot glue would be, it would be lumpy. So I'm using this because it's very sticky and it's flat and I can just cut it into whatever shape. And I'm just gonna kind of cut the tape at angles so that it makes little triangles and put it in all the corners of the wings. My DIYs are not for weenies. <laughs> you have to work. Those of you that have done my stars will know but they're gonna be totally worth it in the end. Just you wait and see. Do 
he's ready to be placed on top of his other half. And now that I think about it, if you're gonna do it this way, I don't know if you even really need to outline the bat. Just cut around it. What do you need to outline it for? So that's good. It'll save you some time if you don't have to outline. It is the next evening and I have all of my silver hollow bats done. I was going to coat them with that polycrylic, but I did a couple of tests. The silver hollow came out kind of lumpy, like it made the texture a little bit worse and then it kind of dulled the rainbow a little bit. And then when I did the test on my black hollow vinyl, it's very shiny, but it completely took the hollow away. It's just black vinyl now. It's so weird. I have no idea why it did that. If anybody knows, please let me know. This polycrylic top coat was what I was going to use because I wanted all the bats to have like a clear, shiny, protective finish. But no. I think I'm just going to try to leave them naked, but I am going to iron them. Got my trusty craft iron ready over there. This is just a piece of scrap fabric. I have it kind of like on a medium-low setting just to start with so I can see how hot I need it. Ooh, oh, that really, really did something. Oh, nice, okay, okay. Beautiful, awesome. Yep, 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 all right. If you can tell the difference, that is much, much smoother. Wow, so cool. My me, I'm just ironing my rainbow bats. I put my bats over here to mind their own business and hang out while I do the black ones. Oh, so sexy. I have my vial, wrong side up. And I think I'm going to lay all the bats out along one edge. I don't want to do like a chunk into the fabric and then not have enough for the other project. Now, I'm gonna tape all these bad boys down. I'm not going to outline them because that was a waste of time. That is not just the coolest damn thing. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Dang, I knew it was gonna be awesome, but this awesome, come on. Ooh, I can't wait to put them on the wall. <laughs> oh, so cool. How awesome is that? Here, you want another? Here's another. So happy with these. And so the last bats I'm going to do, I'm going to coat them in the polycrylic and then I'm gonna add that chunky black glitter that I used for my stars and I really, really like this glitter. Yes, glittery black bats are the final bats. So let's do this. Uh oh. If you see him doing inappropriate things back there, I'm very sorry. <laughs> he loves his unicorn. What are you doing? I'm gonna put down some wax paper. Okay, so these will be dry in just a few minutes and then all the extra glitter will go back into this container. Y'all, there is an owl. Listen. How cool is that? Oh, that's 
It's so cool. It's been a long time since I've heard one. Great. Yes, these are dry, baby. Oh, yay, yay, yay. It just makes me happy. Look at those sparkles. Look at them. My creations, my creatures. I have created my own creatures of the night. So I am gonna go put them up on the wall in the living room. And to do that, you can use glue dots or, I don't know, I'm sure there's all kinds of things, but I am using these little double-sided foamy squares. It's time to stick them up on the wall. Wall bats, wall bats they are. What are you eating? The wall behind me is the wall I'm going to put my bats up on. It's the wall right where you walk in. That's the front door right there. I don't really want to put artwork up on it because where we hang out is on the other side of the room, so it's kind of far away to see artwork. But I think it's the perfect place for these guys. I am so thrilled with these bats. I think they came out so awesome. Oh, I'm so proud of them. I love them so much. I put 16 on the wall, so I have three extras because I made 19 accidentally. If you make these, be sure to take pictures and tag me on Instagram because that would be so awesome to see. You can tag me at Skelterina or Sabrina Skelter. And obviously you can do this with any shape, any material, fabric, any color of glitter. So whatever fits your own aesthetic, you can make whatever you want, but I just wanted to put a new spin on wall bats and make my own. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I love the way they came out. I am, I am pleased. And it's still early. It's only two o'clock in the morning. So I have plenty of time to go play on TikTok. And by the way, if you're on TikTok, you should go follow me at Skelterina because I have been having a blast. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed tonight's DIY. Let me know if you have any special requests in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.